Hello, we are talking today about uh, terrain modification. So we are going to use this example in uh, Lardal in Norway and uh, we are going to do several things that I'll show in the medium that are creating this wall, creating this channel and this uh, building in the middle of the river. Uh, please don't do these super artificial things, use them for better purposes and for like restoring rivers and so on. <laughs> but this is just an example to, to learn to use these tools and get the results like this. Uh, yeah, so let's go for it. I uh, use, uh, okay, we will use the uh, starting uh, DTM and uh, first of all I'll clone the terrain so right click on the terrain clone terrain and we are gonna call it modifications okay awesome so now I have this uh, DTM that I like to set the update layer with the view plot contours and every one meter awesome um, yeah, from here we will uh, right click on modifications, edit layer and add modifications and for creating the wall we are going to use a line, high ground, we are going to call it wall and um, we'll just draw, uh, go from here, 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 to the top and you can see we can in real time see the modifications that we do which is really user friendly uh, for example here we could use a top width of uh, 5 and uh, yeah we could modify the, the slope of the, uh, of the sides maybe put it steeper and maximum extend reduce to 20 here are different settings because we could here I choose the higher, so it means that where these settings are higher than this terrain, they will modify the values. But if not, it will not modify the values. What happens if I say replace? We can see that these uh, slopes goes uh, as far as I say, say the maximum extent. So if I choose 100 just to accelerate it, it will be a lot bigger. But if I say no, just modify when it is higher than the terrain. Okay, then when, whenever it crashes into the terrain, it will stop. Okay, and then we can also see the, the longitudinal profile. And the, we could also modify these points. So I could say I start from a 12 meter high setting and then, okay, automatically this side has come up. Uh, yeah, this is, just so you know, maybe you have already a a design of different solutions yeah. and now we are going to create a channel this is also super useful when we have DTMs where we cannot see our river but we still need to do a flood model we can draw it so imagine I have this is a DTM on its own but, and I know there is a river going through this area but I, I don't have it but I can more, more or less guess how big it is, then I will go to modification and modification lines channel call it river and I'll draw here, here, here and there awesome and then I'll bottom width of 20 yeah, it's okay and the same, you can play with this uh, with these different settings if in this case it's interesting, okay if my values are lower than the terrain, then change it because I want to make a channel. But if I just say replace, it will use this 100, and this is very big, and it even puts uh, higher values than I have in my terrain. So I think in this case, the option of uh, lower is the most efficient. Okay, and then it is ready. I can do the house like with the right click, add modification polygon multipoint house in the middle of the river please never do this we don't we don't build in the middle of the river we respect rivers but this is very useful when i am doing a flood model and i 
need to see the um, the buildings so i can just right click and double click finish and i'm gonna call it a building replace the rain value with an elevation of five meters awesome be aware that if i already have a building shape file i can input it here add existing layer and i could go to it and go to tools and copy the feature so i copy it from a shape file that i have and then i come here and i paste the feature i can use the same polygons but they should not have holes because then it creates a problem for Hecrash. So just try to keep simple polygons with the out, uh, outer shape. Awesome. So we can just uh, stop the modifications uh, with the save. Yes. And then important. We go to geometry, right click on it, manage geometry associations. And I choose the one that I had. In this case, modifications that I already, I just draw. Close and we can compute file save plan as three modifications so you can see i just did the spanish version of it okay okay and here i put the same stuff okay and we compute yeah You can see it starts really nice with some iteration with the current number. And we can see, for example, that there is a problem in the cell 2048 with, with one centimeter. Maybe if we were interested, check where is this problem and if it is due to our modifications, we can go to the geometry, click on it, find cell 2078. Okay. And it's in this one. Did it, right? Was it 2078 a problem? 2048. I didn't even. 2048. Yeah. So, yeah, just in case you want to check where are the cells that are giving you the most problems. But this, yeah, it's done and uh, we have a very big uh, cell size. So, these are not so big errors. Uh, yes, we go here and we can see our results there Ta -da. so what happened with the house the house is covering water oh my god one is maybe my house was not very big what happened here let's go to how big it is a big polygon use constant value replace the value five meters why do I have water in here? I don't get it. Ah, did I remove? It's deeper here. Huh. Okay, I did something wrong. Okay, I think this is a good opportunity to learn, but I did not save the house or something. And if I go to edit polygon modification, Replace the rim value. Five meters. Okay. Stop. Yes. It seems like I did a hole rather than a house. Manage the rain associations, and I have the last one modifications. Why is it one meter lower? Let's see, okay, because I don't understand the depths, let's look at the water surface elevation, maybe I get a, a hint, it's the same, let's look at the terrain, what happened with the terrain, this is 5, ah, because it has a constant elevation of 5, so I did not add 5 to the terrain, I just set a constant elevation of 5. So if I go to right click, edit polygon, it's add value to the rain. Yes, that's what I did wrong. 
Yeah, I got it now. And it's that, this is automatically updated. Once I update it, they're right here. So the calculations have been done with the mistake that I had, but now I introduce this value to the terrain and it's automatically updated. You can see that uh, we even have the, the whole of the house. So yes, okay, it worked and we even had a mistake to learn from. And uh, yeah, I hope uh, you find it useful. And now you know if you need to do some containment works for, for, for floods, but uh, uh, or a channel if you need uh, for a river or, uh, yeah it's very useful and i i hope uh, it serves to you <laughs> bye bye